Mathlib. Pabuhay. What is Fibonacci sequence? How do we find the end term of a Fibonacci sequence? In this lesson, we will discuss how to solve and illustrate problems involving Fibonacci sequence. One of the most talented mathematicians of the Middle Ages was Leonardo Fibonacci. He was the Italian author of the book Liber Abaci. This book contained one of the problems that gave rise to a special type of sequence called Fibonacci sequence, obviously named after the Italian mathematician. This is the problem that gave rise to the Fibonacci sequence. A colony of rabbits started with one pair of adults, one male and one female. Each adult pair bears one pair of offspring monthly, one male and one female. The pairs of young rabbits become adults and bear their offspring at two months old. Assuming that there is no casualty, how many adult pairs of rabbits are in the colony at the end of n months? Let's illustrate the problem for better understanding. Start with a pair of adult rabbits, one male and one female. After a month, the first pair gives birth to one pair of rabbits. After two months, the first pair gives birth to another pair of rabbits and the second pair becomes adults. After three months, the first pair gives birth to another pair of rabbits. The second pair gives birth to one pair of rabbits and the third pair becomes adults. After four months, the first pair gives birth to another pair of rabbits. The second pair gives birth to another pair of rabbits. The third pair gives birth to one pair of rabbits. And the fourth and fifth pairs become adults. After five months, the first pair gives birth to another pair of rabbits. The second pair gives birth to another pair of rabbits. The third pair gives birth to another pair of rabbits. And the fourth and fifth pair gives birth to one pair of rabbits each. While the sixth and the seventh as well as the eight pairs become adults. And this scenario goes on and on. Now, let's consider the number of adult pairs per month. On the first month, we have one adult pair. On the second month, we still have one pair. On the third month, we have two adult pairs. On the fourth month, we have three adult pairs. On the fifth month, we have five adult pairs. And on the sixth month, we have eight adult pairs. It will be confusing to track the growing up and giving birth of growing number of rabbits. So, let's use this initial data to find a pattern. Take a closer look at the terms of the pattern. Except for the first term and the second term, the other terms are simply the sum of the previous two terms. For instance, the third term 2 is 1, the first term, plus 1, the second term. The fourth term, 3, is 1 plus 2. The fifth term, 5, is 2 plus 3. And the sixth term, 8, is 3 plus 5. We can now predict the succeeding terms. The seventh term is 5 plus 8, which is equal to 13. And the 8th term is 8 plus 13, which is equal to 21. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by the recursive formula 
f sub n is equal to f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1 with f sub 1 is equal to f sub 2 which is equal to 1. Let's solve this problem. Find the 13th term of the Fibonacci sequence. Let's use the recursive formula of the Fibonacci sequence in finding the 13th term. As already determined before, the first 8 terms of the Fibonacci sequence are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and 21. To find the succeeding term, simply add the last two terms. Hence, the ninth term is 13 plus 21 which is equal to 34. The tenth term is 21 plus 34 which is equal to 55. The eleventh term is 34 plus 55 which is equal to 89. The twelfth term is 55 plus 89 which is equal to 144. And the thirteenth term is 89 plus 144 or 233. There are other sequences that behave like the Fibonacci sequence. One example is the sequence 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, etc., etc. Note that except for first and second terms, all other terms are determined by simply adding two successive terms. Let's find the next three terms of this sequence. The seventh term is 11 plus 18 which is equal to 29 the eighth term is 18 plus 29 or 47 and the ninth term is 29 plus 47 is equal to 76 this sequence is also known as the lucas sequence try to google it now try this Find the 7th term of the sequence 1, 9, 10, 19, and so on. The 5th term is 10 plus 19 which is equal to 29. And the 6th term is 19 plus 29 is equal to 48. Therefore, the 7th term is 29 plus 48 which is equal to 77. Find the 7th term of the sequence x minus 2y, 2x plus y, 3x minus y, 5x, and so on. The fifth term is 3x minus y plus 5x which is equal to 8x minus y. The sixth term is 5x plus 8x minus y is equal to 13x minus y. Therefore, the seventh term is 8x minus y plus 13x minus y is equal to 21x minus 2y. For more matitinic tips, just click Math Click. And please, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for our next video lesson. See ya!